What is Gaucher disease? Gaucher disease is the most common of all lysosomal storage diseases and affects men and women equally. A genetic mutation causes the production of the beta-glucocerebrosidase enzyme to be faulty or non-existent. This enzyme deficiency leads to the accumulation of lipids in cells, particularly in the liver, spleen and bones. Genetic transmission. Gaucher disease is a recessive hereditary disorder. This means that a child has to inherit a copy of the faulty gene from both parents in order to develop the disease. Therefore, in a couple where one partner has Gaucher disease, the child has a 50% chance of being a carrier. If one parent is a carrier and the other is affected, there is a one in two chance that their child will suffer the disease. If both parents suffer the disease, so will their child. Signs and symptoms. Gaucher disease affects each patient differently and the symptoms vary considerably from one person to another. The most frequent clinical signs are tiredness, bone ache, tendency to develop hematomas and increase in liver and spleen size. Many people who suffer from Gaucher disease and are receiving treatment can lead a full and normal life but should bear some details in mind. Frequently, patients experience low calcium and vitamin D levels. Anemia is also common. It is therefore important to monitor test results, compensate for deficiencies with diet, and if advised by your doctor, take calcium and or iron supplements. The increase in liver and spleen size may also cause patients to feel full more quickly, making the consumption of high energy foods important. Regular exercise will help strengthen bones and muscles However, due to symptoms, it is not recommended for Gaucher patients to practice contact sports, given the greater risk of suffering an injury or fracture. Some changes in day-to-day -day life and routine may need to be considered in order to manage absences for attending medical consultations. Tiredness and lack of energy could also prevent Gaucher patients from carrying out some tasks or demanding physical activities. If these practices are considered, those affected by Gaucher disease can lead a full and normal life. For more information on Gaucher disease, visit www.gaucherdisease.info.